Thanks for joining me today to make this fun Zones of the Ocean display jar. Here are the ingredients that I used to make our jar for today. First of all, I used this vase that I had here at my home. One thing I liked about it is that it has tall straight sides. Made it easier to pour my liquids into the jar and it will make labeling the sides easy. The bottom layer is corn syrup that we've dyed a dark purple. The next layer up is dishwashing liquid that I added a little bit of purple to. The middle layer is tap water, then vegetable oil, and the top layer is rubbing alcohol. I also have this syringe that I ended up not using, but it can be helpful if you need help gently putting the liquid into your container. All of these were colored with just food coloring that I had here at my home. I had gel colors. I think liquid food coloring may have been easier, but this was a great project to just use what you had around the house. Let's go ahead and get started by adding our first layer. This is the corn syrup, and it has been dyed a dark purple so that it's almost black looking. It looks like some blue and maybe a little green in there too to help make it dark. You can make the layers as thick as you want, and if you want, you can measure out your liquids so that you have equal, equal layers. I just eyeballed mine. This is my liquid dish soap. I started out with a blue dish soap and added a little bit of purple food coloring to make it a little, a little darker. It's fun to just pour gently and slowly and watch the dish soap layer on top of that corn syrup. Look at that, just creating the next layer. Now corn syrup represents a trench and this dish soap represents the abyss zone of the ocean. In hindsight, I do wish I had added a little more dish soap, but I didn't want to worry about the color match and so we just went on to the next. The next layer is going to be our water. Now, you can at this point start using the syringe and gently squeeze the syringe down the side. But if you're just extra careful, you can also tip the jar with your layers and very slowly pour your liquid on top. Very slowly. This zone is representing the midnight zone of the ocean. See there, and I really wasn't happy with the thickness of this layer, and I also wasn't really liking the color. And so I went back in and we made some more water that was more of a green hue to it. Pour it slowly on top. And that gave us our midnight layer, our midnight zone of the ocean. The next layer is going to be our vegetable oil. Now we just colored this a light blue and we're going to use the same technique as before. Once again, you can use a syringe and just carefully squeeze the syringe and squirt the, the liquid down the side of your container. But if you're very careful and go very slow, you can just tilt your zone vase jar and pour your new layer on top of the others. This layer is my kids' favorite. They love the look of that colored vegetable oil. the twilight zone. Now as you can see this is also a great example of teaching liquid densities. So the top layer is the rubbing alcohol. Now since my food colors were the gel colors I had a really hard time getting them to mix into the alcohol 
and I believe that a liquid food colors would work better, but I just chose to settle with the very light, very, very light blue of my top sunlight layer of my ocean here. I added a little more plain alcohol and tilt the jar and it's hard to not pour too fast. As you can see, if you pour too fast, that liquid likes to just jump right down there and go under the zones and try and mix all together. If you go slow, once I slow down a little bit, you can see it's starting to lay on the top like it's supposed to. The rubbing alcohol represents the sunlight zone of the ocean. And since that is the most transparent, I felt it was okay for mine to be mostly see-through. Next, I added some labels. So just to help with some discussion, these are just some Avery address labels that I had laying around my house that I decided to kind of modify and stick on there. You have the trench, the abyss, and a crooked midnight. Now this is going to be one area where maybe if you are wanting your, leg or your air layers to be even, you would be able to measure your liquids so that as you are pouring them in, they are creating equal layers. Or you could do your research with your students and see how deep the actual zones are and do your layers of liquids proportionate to the layers in the ocean. My learners are young and so it was okay with me for them to just have this be a fun representation of the different layers and talk about density and that there are different layers and how light can come through. And I added some extra rubbing alcohol just so that we could see that sunlight layer a little better. So there it is. Here is a list of all the materials that we used and there is a picture of it in the sun.